Hi everyone, I'm Ivan Orlandini and today I will show you how to quickly and easily transform any logo into an abstract version in Blender 3.4. Let's start. So the first thing we're gonna need is to delete our default cube. Then we're gonna need to import our SVG logo. I'm gonna leave you in the description a link to download the Google logo that I'm using for this tutorial, but you can use whatever logo you want or icon or whatever in SVG format you want. So now let's go on file, import, SVG and select our logo and import it. As you can see now, is really, really small. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna scale it up to a hundred times like this. Here we are. And then we're gonna fix the scale. Then we're gonna need to rotate it by 90 degree, something like this. Here we are. Then we're gonna need to go down here and let's unhide our wireframe so that we can see what the mesh looks like. Now we need to transform these curves into mesh. So let's go down here on object, convert, mesh. And here we are, now we have meshes. Now that we are done, we can go into the properties. Let's select our decimate. Let's go to planner and let's change our angle limit to something like one degree. Let's do it for all four of these pieces. And here we are. So now that we are done, we can easily apply what we are doing. And now we just need to extrude our shapes. So let's go on the edit mode, let's click on it to select all the vertices and let's extrude it to something like this. Here we are, just perfect. Now we can even go down here, let's remove this ugly material that SVG automatically import, here we are. Now that we are done, we can easily drag a little to the center our logo, here we are. So now the next thing we're gonna need is to hide our wireframe and then we're gonna need to start with our geometry nodes. So let's first go to geometry nodes, let's click on our first piece. So now that we're here, let's create a new one. Here we are, now we have an input and an output. Then we're gonna need to create a mesh to volume to transform our mesh into a volume. After that, we're gonna need to get our new component of a Blender 3.4, the distributed points on volume. So now that we can have points in the volume of our shape. After that, we're gonna need to get an instance on point. Here we are. After that, we're gonna need to get the objects that are gonna fill our volume of the mesh. So let's create some of them. Let's start with a new sphere. Let's scale it down to something like 0 0.13. Here we are. Let's move it. Then we're gonna need to shade it smooth. After that, we can create a thorus. Let's add some segments. We can go to something like 90 
and 45, something like this. Then we're gonna need to change our major radius to something like one and our minor radius to something like 0 0.35. Here we are, and we're done. So now let's move it. Let's now scale it down to something like 0 0.13. Here we are. And as the last shape that we're gonna use, I'm gonna pick a cone. So let's get it like this, let's smooth it, and let's scale it also down to 0 0.13. Here we are. So now we have all of our free meshes, but you can use whatever mesh you want. So now that we're done, let's apply the scale of these three. Let's now return on our curve. Let's now select all of these three things. Let's click on M, create a new collection, call it items. Then we're gonna need to drag our items collection into our geometry node. So now that we have our collection info, then we're gonna need to drag our geometry into the instance, and then we're gonna need to pick our separate child, raise a child, and pick instances down here. Here we are. So now, as you can see, we can start to see something. So now, the next thing that we're gonna need is to drag up our density to something like 270. Here we are. Then we're gonna need to pick a random value just to get a random rotation of our items. We can even change a little some of these values just to get some more interesting things. We can now duplicate it let's turn it to float and let's drag it into the scale so now that we can have different scales on our object let's drag down a little bit to the maximum to something like 0 0.8 and the minimum to 0 0.4 here we are as you can see we can easily play with our density to choose whatever quantity you want of our items to fill the volume. I'm gonna leave it something like this. Then another thing that we have to do just to get the Google colors uh, on our geometry nodes is to get our set material node. Let's drag it down like here. And then we're gonna create our four materials for our colors. So now let's create a super simple scene, something like this. Keep attention not to edit inside the items. Otherwise, as you can see, we can have some troubles. So let's do it out of the items collection. Let's scale it up a little bit. Let's now get these vertices. Let's drag it up a little bit, let's select it, let's bevel it to something like this works just fine and we can even scale to the x axis a little bit, something like this. Perfect. Another thing that we have to do, we can easily hide all of these items so now that we don't have it inside of our scene after that, we are gonna need to create a super simple material for our Google logo so that we can create four times for our four colors. Before we can do it, let's change it to cycle. Let's go to GPU compute. Let's add a denoiser. Here we are. Okay, so now let's create a super simple material. Let's create a new one, call it red. Then we're gonna need to change our base color. Let's select uh, this hex code.
here we are. To see what we're doing, we can go into geometry node, let's select our red color, and now as you can see, we have it. So now another thing that we can do is to change down a little bit our roughness, something like this. And I think it's perfect for our purposes. So now let's duplicate it and let's call one yellow and let's change the color to something like this. Let's create another one that we are going to call green. And let's create the last one that we're going to call blue. And here we are with our four materials. So now we just need to apply our geometry in order to all the four pieces. So let's go down here. Let's select our geometry node, then go into geometry nodes. Let's duplicate it. So we have one and we can change our color to yellow, for example. Then we're going to need to get another one down here. Gonna duplicate it. Let's select the green one and then for the last one, the same thing. And here we are with our <laughs> super abstract Google logo filled by random shapes. Let's change a little bit our lights, nothing crazy. Let's drag it down a little bit, this one, something like this. Let's create another one from this side. Let's drag it to this side a little bit, something like this. Let's turn this down a little bit. Then we can fix our camera to something like 90, zero, zero and drag it down a little. Then we can easily create a vertical split to see what camera sees. Let's hide all the guy, click on T and N to hide everything, click on zero on the numpad to see what camera sees and then we can simply fix the last things. And here we are. Another thing that we can do is to go into the color management. Let's select a high contrast look and we're done. We can now simply hit render and see the final result. And here you are the finished result. I hope you liked it and found it useful. In case, consider to like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any ideas or suggestions, please leave a comment below. We will see at the next video. Bye bye.